Hello everyone and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today's ship play is from Tremoa and I'm terribly sorry for mispronouncing that. Now he is in the Ohio at your 10 US battleship and this is a clan battle on a sleeping giant. Now this is a well, a warning here, this isn't a high tier clan battle uh, between top clans or anything like that, but it's a pretty fun battle. I have to say that. Now, the enemy team brought a carrier, for some reason the friendly team didn't. That's one, uh, like I mean, on, in high level gameplay you'd probably see a carrier on both sides. There are quite a few Russian ships around, obviously, I mean, it's clan battles. And yeah, the, the friendly team's plan seems to be all push one flank like interestingly enough you know they haven't sent a single ship towards the actual camp i mean there are right, like the spawn caps here but nobody is going for a now of course without a carrier uh they can't even like contest anything a day and they couldn't provide cover for anything a day i mean it's not like a carrier can't do that much against an enemy carrier i suppose but could at least drop a fighter plane and so on anyway uh, enemy Minotaur spotted, Minotaur out in the open and looks like to be rather broadside-ish, not moving an awful lot, no smoke screen. I mean, I presume since it's a clan battle that Minotaur might have brought radar instead of smoke. But, you know, you don't want to be a Minotaur out in the open fully broadside and it looks like it looks like his engine, like, uh, his engine might be broken and might not have last send or repair ready for some reason. And, you know, if, if you're out in the open like that, you're into it just yet. So that's the first kill there. Now the enemy carrier is coming in, and that's going to be a massive torpedo strike, obviously. Well, uh, the friendly Pantro is taking quite a bit of damage there, of course. I mean, it's a ruse, but Antia isn't going to do anything anyway. But you know, I mean, the friend is off to a good, uh, good start. The enemy team brought a conqueror for their only battleship, interestingly. And that conqueror is already, it looks like it's disengaging now. There's a Smolensk there, yeah? Smolensk and conqueror together, that's obviously a lot of uh, high explosive spam, but. Murcio, oh, there comes the carrier again. You see? Is he trying to drop the destroyer? Yeah, it looks like it. Interesting. Meanwhile, uh, Minotaur here is visible. Now, of course, I mean, the friendlies have two Patriots uh, starting out in Moscow on this side. Now, all of those raider ships are not in range just yet, but the friendlies brought a lot of freight, and the enemy team brought a lot of smoke. And, you know, I think raider beat smoke. Now, meanwhile, our Ohio is on fire, as one would expect, with that much high explosive that they're facing. Also, I uh, know the, I mean, the enemy team has the carrier to do the spot. I was just uh, contemplating, since the Haaland is at the A side, that the enemy team doesn't have much to spot. But, well, they, they do, they have to carry. And I mean, like, uh, uh, Roosevelt can just basically keep spotting for a long time there. Because the planes are generally not going down that easily. Now also it looks like the enemy Smolensk has left its smoke screen. I mean, not that the smoke screen is that much help considering the amount of radar there, but you know. And friendly destroyer is also here to join the fun and you know torpedo into the smoke. Now Minotaur and Smolensk do have torpedoes, but I think some friendly here has somebody has used hydro. It might be the Petro here close by. Be rather useful. Oh, can, can we get a double strike here? I mean, you can't get like medals in. Uh, in. a clan battle, but you know, this would, would have been a double we strike, I guess. Uh, the enemy team is already down three cruisers. And you know, like the friendly team's plan is just to keep pushing. And that's why I find it such a fun battle. I mean, obviously this is, as I said, not high tier gameplay that you're watching here, but those are not high tier clans facing off against each other. But that's why lower tiers are probably much more fun to watch anyway, because things like that happen, right? It's it's a team that just sends all of the ships down one flank. Not sure what that Stalingrad is doing, to be honest. Maybe he's trying to stick around to, to fight off the Holland. 
because they know there is a Haaland around here, the Moskva also seems to be going back. I mean, at this point, they don't need all of the ships to push forward here, right? Well, what's left there? A Conqueror and the Smolensk. Now, the Smolensk is kind of cornered. They have, once again, they have the Petros here with the Raiders, so the Smolensk is not going to disappear in a smokescreen, probably. And, you know, the Smolensk is also in uh, secondary range of an Ohio. Now, of course, the Ohio's secondaries are currently not firing. Because they don't have an angle. And hey, the carrier comes back. I mean, I'm, I, the enemy carrier is probably doing a lot of work, but they are losing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that small is considered dealt by a patrol. Like. I feel like the enemy team just was relying a lot on sitting in smoke and burning things down. And that just didn't work against that friendly push with all that radar. And yes, uh, like the enemy carrier is doing a lot of work, but even he can't stop. So, uh, meanwhile, the enemy team is down to two ships, right? That, that Haaland also has been intercepted. And now only the Conqueror and the carrier remain. So let's... Slightly up while our Ohio is pushing the camp and the friendlies. They are pinging around where the RPF is pointing towards the carrier chest so that the friendlies have some information. But you know, I mean, the Somers is still a little bit in the bank. Yeah, the Somers, Somers pretty much stuck with the, the main fleet, probably because the uh, carrier makes it rather risky to be off on your own. And I'm not sure if he provided smoke for some of the cruises at some point because I haven't watched the summer so closely. Meanwhile, our Ohio is eating all the torps, but you know, that's that's what happens if there is a Roosevelt against you, I guess. But you know, he is angled against the Conquerors, and Conqueror, I think it was actually shooting ammo piercing, so angling against the Conqueror is probably the more important part here anyway. Now the Conqueror is Stonewall surfing. Not a very sportsmanlike thing to do, but I guess it's a clan battle, so maybe you wanna get every advantage you can have. But then again, I mean, come on, this battle is decided anyway. Now, the enemy team is pretty good in, in points for the amount of troops they have, mostly because they have two capture zones. And we can see just if, if the enemy would have been able to stall a little bit longer. The friendlies would have quite simply lost this point. So if, if like the enemy team had gotten a few more kills in, right, the friendlies could have lost this pretty solved, easily sir. by ignoring the A-camp. But their push was just fast and decisive enough. And it, it looks like Ohio is finally showing too much broadside here. That was a good hit from the Conqueror. He is obviously trying to get this camp out. Yeah, he's finally ship. sliding out of it, I guess. Oh, it does really. Now, I guess they have decided, you know what, they don't really need the B-cap. They have the Roosevelt spotted and they are going to sink the Roosevelt before the enemy team can. Which a thousand points anyway. So, all that remains to be seen is who can get the last hit in a Kremlin. Slow. Somers trying to get some torps off. I, I don't think the carrier will live long enough for those torps to matter. And of course we have a cyclone, so only now we can see the carrier rendered here. And will this seal the deal? Which brings us to the results. Now Cremoa uh, got the Kraken. Well, I mean, you don't get the Kraken in land battles, but you know, sinking five ships is quite a lot considering that there aren't that many enemies around. And I just found this funny because literally the friendly clan that just said, you know what, why don't we just all push down this one flank and they absolutely wrecked everything. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this and I'll see you next time.